All right, you guys, Matt just got in. We're gonna talk to him a little bit about how he started his apprenticeship, some of the challenges he went through and all of that. So let's talk to Matt. What's up? What's good? How y'all doing, internet world? So how did your tattoo journey start? My tattoo journey, I wanted to learn how to tattoo. I was the art kid. I just started drawing and painting on my own, trying to uh, mimic the things that I've seen in like, other uh, other routes of apprenticeship. Basically, you draw, you draw, you draw, you practice, 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 and you study stuff that you're you're into and other good artists, right? So I was doing that, and I got linked up with Tango, luckily, somebody that I'd known for a few years uh, in my past life. And um, him and Vu told me to come to the shop and talk to him. So I came in, brought some of my work, um, Tana asked me, you know, what I was looking to do in tattooing, why I wanted to tattoo and that kind of stuff. And luckily uh, he saw some potential, uh, so he told me to start coming in uh, and he would teach me. Actually, I think the first day, this will slap down some blossoms on a page and gave me some, some tracing paper. <laughs> and said, trace these out, showed me some the basic strokes that Tan teaches in his methodology and said, sit here and draw these, trace them do one and then redo that and redo that and Tan said make sure every one that you do is better than the last one so if you think this one is good you're doing it wrong do it again do it again do it again because ultimately they're never going to be the best one right like he just wants you to keep practicing getting that that motion and those strokes in that was the beginning of the method to the madness how long ago was that that was uh 2019 2018 a couple years ago yeah, that's how it, that's kind of how it went. You come in, Ton chooses something for you that you, you sort of think it's just like a random, random image, but he has a, uh, an architecture. So he's having you draw certain things that will teach you certain hand strokes, certain motions, so you can start to understand how your marks should look. Um, and then you figure out that, oh, it's basically the same movement kind of for all these things and you get a foundation so that you can, you can build more and more uh, intricate designs off of it. Lauren over here doing hand bangers. Ooh, it's pretty good. Look pretty good. Sick. <laughs> you know what? Do I'm a gonna, line. I'm gonna give Alex first blood. You ready, bro? I guess so. All right then, turn on the machine. <laughs> He's about to get his first lining experience. Stop. Yeah, for, wipe it. Yeah, just get in there, man. Get comfortable, get closer. Uh, you, like, you have to be comfortable. Wait, tell him to lean back. Oh, you yeah, always huh? have him move for you, for you to be comfortable. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, damn. Well, it's actually a good line. All right. So keep going, finish it. That line, you felt like you went deeper, right? I don't know. Huh? It felt the it same. Deeper. It, it felt, felt deeper. It looked yeah. deeper. Cause all right, he did the line earlier, which is I think is perfect. And the next line he did, I felt like little your thing. hand went a little bit. You couldn't control it, and you went a little bit deeper because you're turning in the wrong angle. Mm. Get it? Every time the line just gets deep, because you're in an off position where your body, like you, your hand, is out of focus, basically. Come a little lower and scoot the machine down a little bit. I'm trying to correct him on his holding, kind of like this. Let me see it actually in person. Hey, wait, where'd you go? <laughs> oh shoot, I thought it was my line. <laughs> but how was it? Not bad, not bad. Got a lot to learn, but thank you, Ray. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you did all right. You did all right for your first blood. Not too bad. This was scary because I thought we were going to start on fake skin first, but got thrown into it today, dude. <laughs> I guess it's time for a shop update. Alex tatted Ray this morning, and now Ray is tatting Alex. Got Mr. Bustamante over here. What's up, what's up? What you working on, bro? Working on this little uh, little skull down here with the snake top. Some chrysanthemums. 
sick. <laughs> I can't even say it right now. <laughs> I can't. All right, let me show you guys some. Check out what I'm working on. I just want to give a shout out to my cousin Lim right here. This is the piece I'm working on him. He flew all the way from Arizona to get more work done by me. But thank you, brother. Love you. All right, guys, you made it to the end of the video. I want to give a huge shout out to Ray for letting me tag him today uh -huh. doing those few lines. Thank you. You're brave for that, dude. <laughs> and shout out to Tango for walking me through everything and teaching me. He's still working, so we're just ending the video right now. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, comment Jolly B in the comment section down below. Do you have any last words, Matt? Mr. Mushy. <laughs> <laughs> any last words, Ray? Mr. Mushy. <laughs> I like it. Last words. <laughs> These guys tripping. <laughs>